this one will eviscerate. It may not, but if there's enough stuff in there, it will. Do all echinoderms? Not all of them have that lantern thing, right? No. no. Asteroids don't. No, and and uh, some sea cucumbers. Uh, don't eviscerate the anterior end, they eviscerate the posterior end, which uh -huh. is uh, respiratory trees uh, and uh, what's that other thing in there? I forgot the name of it. But anyway, so it, it loses its ability to uh, uh, to respire so they'll do normally. Or no, nope. they just grow it back. But it depends on the species, whether they're an anterior end eviscerator or a posterior end eviscerator. And there are some that don't eviscerate at all. There are some. Do all the holothuroids have the, the lantern then? Uh, well, at least some version of it. Oh, yeah, I want to, well, I'll show you that. It's not as pronounced as, you, as it is in the, the economics. Right, which you'll see when you do the second one. Okay, so here's uh, two mLs of, of this eviscerated salomic fluid. Let's see what happens. You can see it immediately getting getting sort of flaccid. You can see the body wall up here is starting to soften a little bit, but it's not as abrupt as with the potassium chloride. Actually, maybe the other end. No, I think this is the end. See how the body wall is thinning out up, up in there? But the, the body wall itself is, you know, all over is getting much thinner. I'm just going to put it down and let it let it sit for a minute. See, that's that's normally what it is, is much thicker. Uh, much thicker there, but let's see what happens. Now, uh, echinod or echinoderms, uh, starfish have a less pronounced response, but some starfish, uh, actually many starfish, yes. oh, okay, see? So there you go. Right? Exact same, exact same response due to the, whatever was in the salomic fluid of that guy. 